LaGrange College presents I'll be playing White Knuckle Shoal on a marimba with these two mallets by Casey Kangalosi. teacher I took a, took a film scoring class and she recommended that oh I should go to LaGrange because they have a good a decent you know composition program with Lee Johnson and everyone there's so many instruments to choose from you have to be like almost like multilingual you're learning a bunch of different languages the same framework you know use your use your hands or your wrists you know your arms sometimes you use your feet there's like it's very wide so instead of practicing an hour or two hours for one instrument you gotta make sure you're equally diverse in all of them. Ever since I was little, all I heard was about Nexus. My grandfather, he knew some people in Nexus. He always talked about how he'd be in college with his friends and how these Nexus people, how so like wildly diverse they are and stuff. So they have uh, like Bob Becker, he's like probably the most pronounced and most known like, percussionist on their staff, mainly for his mallet work and his ragtime stuff. And so, uh, uh, 
they, they know all of their instruments like so well and they've been so involved in their master percussionists. They're beyond college and doctorate level. They a lot of the music is based off Indian scales and scales not typically known in modern like modern music. Uh, with Lee Johnson here, he's helping have the opportunity um, to like write percussion ensembles, and um, they've uh, we got in Columbus State's percussion ensemble to come here do a recording session last year, and then we also played uh, uh, a percussion ensemble last semester I wrote, and it was with like Blue Man Group instruments. And we had these big pipes and stuff. Percussion is almost can be anything. I want to do pop, I want to do um, classical singing, uh, jazz, I, it's just all of it, people think of them all as, as being so far separated, but as you study music you see the lines are a lot more blurred um, than you think they are. My name is uh, Austin Burns, I'm from Conyers, Covington, that area. I'm a double major here, uh, both in composition and in vocal performance. Did a lot of plays and musicals in high school, and uh, and when I came in, 
you know, I, I really wanted to, to be a composer, but you know, I learned as, as I've been here that I'm, I'm more of a singer, and, um, and I've been learning to accept my strengths and, and to play on them. I feel like I didn't seek out necessarily all the things that I ended up being in. You know, sometimes teachers just got me and said, okay, you're going to be in this. And, um, you know, I just kind of held on for dear life and tried it the best that I could. And uh, my freshman year, I was in Brigadoon. My sophomore year, we did Hansel and Gretel, and I was the witch. It was an opera jam term. Well, it was it was really um, funny, and, and I've never dressed like a woman before, so that was definitely something different. And uh, I remember I had to, to wear this wig, and one of their performances, the wig kept uh, falling off. And when I got finished, this little kid came up to me and said, Your wig almost fell off. My junior year, I was in Dames at Sea, I was the captain, but I was also in Sweeney Todd. Uh, different roles are fun for different reasons. I did enjoy uh, doing Sweeney Todd because uh, Pirelli had uh, a lot of falsetto uh, passages and, uh, and I really enjoy doing that. I've written a song about a writer who um, is also an actor. He, he feels like he's always being pushed to, to act in other people's plays, to perform uh, great works by other people, but he feels like he has something to say. I asked Professor Noel uh, if there was a play that could go along with this song, and uh, she found one, and it happened to be by Tennessee Williams. It's a one-act play. It's called I Can't Imagine Tomorrow. There's only two characters, a man and a woman. Basically, it's about how they feel that they're slaves to their job, slaves to their work, and, um, and they feel like they're always being moved, you know, like pawns in a game of chess. I think uh, that was the lyric, pawns in a game of chess, moved yet unimpressed. It's going to be um, April 19th at 7.30, and... Um, Joanna Meyer, uh, who's a theater major here, uh, she's very talented, she's going to be directing it for me. Some people, you know, get adrenaline rushes by, you know, jumping out of airplanes and doing that stuff. I get it from performing, you know, from being on the stage. I get such a high from that, and um, it just makes me happy.
Well, originally I was at Berry College and I transferred here after my first semester as a freshman. I was like, I want to write. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to do something with music for the rest of my life, no matter what it is. So I actually Googled music schools and LaGrange was one of the top schools that was there. Look at your nails. Look at your I came in here blank slate. Um, after my first piano class, I went back to my room and I cried like a baby because I was like, I don't know how to do this. I didn't know where middle C was on the piano when I first got here. So my piano teacher's like, you've never taken theory? No, ma'am. You've never done anything? No, ma'am. She's like, why are you in this class? She didn't say it in a mean manner. She's just like, why are you in this class? You shouldn't be in this class yet. I was like, I don't know. I was just placed in here. I'm sorry. I just really want to learn piano because I have to. <laughs> and so eventually, um, my friends Jocelyn and Tim, they helped me with the theory and ear training and piano. And even though it, it was hard, now I find it things such as theory to be extremely easy like some of the freshmen could come up to me and ask me about something oh yeah I know that you just do it this way and it's so funny because I came here not knowing a thing and now music theory is like my thing. Is this a combination of having had a day off yes. Yes, and it's Sunday afternoon and you've got a cameraman in your face uh-huh all right and it's about to be in your face even more. Dr. Anderson it's it's amazing how much respect I have for her because she's so encouraging. Like, she will bring me to tears and she knows it because she's so encouraging. She said things like, you look so natural on the stage. You're acting when you sing. It's, it's really good. I'm like, it is? And so she would start to encourage me to take theater classes or to audition for the shows here at LaGrange. So I just slowly but surely became more and more interested and I was like, I wanna just combine the two. Listen, at this point, nothing can freak you out. It just can't. You just have to enjoy being up there now. Professor Noel is, <laughs> she's so fun to be around because she's so energetic. So whenever, when she sees that you're interested in it, she's automatically going to be interested in it with you. As long as you show her the interest, she's going to be more than happy to help you. And being that I have good friends in the theater department, theater majors, they're always like, oh yeah, you should do it, take classes, do this class with me and stuff like that. And the fact that I came here with people who love it just as much as I do, and as long as I keep wanting it, they're going to keep wanting it for me. That's how um, my life has changed because someone cares enough about my dream to help me get to where I want to go. Patrick Reagan. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I am a sophomore here at LaGrange College and I am a composition and music technology major. This program, the, the composition and music technology program, is really what brought me here. Um, it is the only one, is the only school in Georgia that really offers this kind of program and I didn't want to go out of state because there's a lot more money and that, that, that kind of thing, but this program and the school and how small it is is really what brought me here. I've heard like a lot of other schools will just force you to do these things and make you do this and make you do that and push you in a way that may not be what you want to do and like to, to be happy or you know be creative in your own way and the professors here really let you be creative you know in, in what you want to do and I think that's very healthy and, and lots of fun. I mean there's a ton of ensembles that you can be in and then a lot of like applied lessons that you can take um, like you know guitar and voice and my my dad was a uh, piano major in, in college um, and he switched to voice sometime around his junior year um, and my mom was a theater major so the arts the fine arts have always been around in my in my life I did a lot of theater when I was younger but at, at one point I kind of said you know what my whole family does this I want to be different <laughs>
so my band back home, our name is uh, Amerson, which is the, the lead singer's last name. We actually have just been booked for a wedding um, that we're playing very soon. Uh, it's an eight piece band and we're doing about 30 or 40 songs for three hours, three hours worth of music. A lot of them are uh, like Michael Bublé, like Stevie Wonder and like some jazz classics. And uh, it's been, it's been, it's made us so much better as, as musicians and playing together and, and it's been lots of fun. At this point right now, I kind of see myself probably engineering. Um, I really have just fallen in love with the craft of, of engineering as well as songwriting. I mean, that's, I would love to, I would love to do that, but I think engineering is, is kind of where I'm going to sit. <laughs> I still have more to learn. Slow on a one-way road I can see that I'm getting close I don't dare to rush For the news that I bring as well I don't think that I need to tell It breaks me up You will find a hard way all the love you have But I must go cause something's missing It's ripping me in half Miles in and I stop to think if it's all really happening Or just some dream Pictures hung all across my mind Reminding me of a damn good time But I must say goodbye and I'm pursuing a Bachelor of Music in Church Music and a minor in Church Leadership. And I'm from Moultrie, Georgia. I'm actually living in the Sustainability House this year with two other girls and that has been quite an experience and it's been awesome. So that's been something new that I've done. I am a hilltopper and so I give tours on campus. 
I'm involved with the choir on campus. Um, I'm part of the SGA Senate group, um, so we help plan all the homecoming festivities and things like that on campus. Um, and I've done swim team up until this year, but. Um, I am wanting to just have a church job. I love working in the church. I've already had so many opportunities since I've been here and even in high school to work with youth at churches and play piano at churches. I take lessons at First Baptist with Anthony Criswell. We're gonna need to think through where the hands are gonna go on which, which manuals, which mm -hmm. keyboards. This is really my first time learning how to play an actual pipe organ. I've been working with the youth at First Baptist for about a year now, um, and I know that that's something that I want to pursue as well, maybe a youth choir position or something like that. I know that the Lord's called me to some type of ministry, so I'm hopeful for that opportunity. 